Hi, I'm Lee Meow Levitt, and I'd like to read an excerpt from my novel, In the Lap of the Gods. And it's set in uh, the two, early 2000s in China, where the world's largest dam, the Three Gorges, had submerged entire towns as this dam was being built. So my protagonist, Lu, lives in uh, Wuxian, one of the towns that's been destroyed. And here, the residents had to move up to the, kind of up the cliff to the new town. But they're watching the destruction of the old. In the last days of Wuxian, the remaining residents shuffled about in a frenzy of activity. Men carried two by fours and wooden suitcases stacked up and tied to their shoulder poles. Women scudded along with overstuffed bags, dragging their young children behind them. Lou bumped into a grandmother, carrying a baby, in the deep wicker basket strapped to her back. She seemed to be the only person moving with a slow gait, and Lou noticed a pensive look in their eyes. When he asked her where they were locating, she merely replied, far away. She blinked and then stared at him with her tired, sunken eyes. I would rather die and be buried here. This will be a town of ghosts. On the prescribed day, the residents of Old Wuxian climbed to vantage points all around the city to witness the final demolition. Lu found a spot on the hill leading up to New Wuxian. It was a hazy day, and only the sound of cicadas chirping broke the stillness. All eyes in New Wuxian were turned toward the abandoned city. Old Wuxian had a lawless, soulless element, and not many seemed sorry to let it go. In its last days, it was as good as the skeleton of a fish, stripped of its flesh and heart and gills, all of which had been scoured and picked clean despite the rot within. Just then, a few boys darted down the hill, sending up dust and scaring lizards into the, the brush. The youngest walked up to Lou. Hey, mister, what you doing? Lou removed his cigarette and exhaled, waiting for the fireworks. Moments later, a great explosion rocked the hillside. The old city trembled, and then it began to tumble to the earth. Tall buildings tottered and fell like drunken men. Shells of low rises crumbled and turned to dust. The resounding roar flushed birds out of the cemetery's trees. The raucous cries drowned in a din of dynamite that shook the entire valley. Smoke rose from the city in torpid black clouds as explosion after explosion went off. Old Wuxian had become a ship tossed at sea. And when the storm subsided, the city would sink into a remorseless, watery grave. The boys hooped and cheered as they watched the destruction. Lou puffed away on a cigarette, watching the rivulets of smoke trail out toward the valley of dark clouds below. He had little to lose, but an empty feeling gnawed at his stomach, although he had just eaten. He thought of the old woman's words. He thought of Fei-Fei and a home in Fengzhen. And when he could no longer stand the emptiness, he got up and made his way back to New Wuxian. Thanks.